at the Tafa Balewa Square in Lagos, Service Chiefs, Commission of Police, the Nigerian Legion, Religious and Traditional Rulers joined Governor Babajide Sawolu in this year's and Forces Remembrance Day. The governor was represented by his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat. Senior correspondent, Adidja Salam Adenir, tells us more. It is a day set aside for sober reflection on the significance of the armed forces. Mr. Obafemi Hamzat inspects the Guard of Honor on behalf of Governor Babaji Desonwolu. The 21 gun salute, release of pigeons and laying of reeds at this Remembrance Arcade are all in honor of personnel of the Army, Air Force, Navy and the police who have paid the supreme price so we can sleep easy. The event is also to honor veterans still alive. Lagos as a state has always and will always support the military and all the paramilitary agencies that are responsible for maintaining our security. And at the same time, we remember the soul of those who have departed while defending the territorial integrity of our country. May their soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. And we pray that God will grant the family the fortitude to bear the loss. We support them and we continue to support them. Laying the wreath on behalf of the Lagos State Fallen Heroes' wives, Oyinola Shubowali, with tears, remember the husband, Temida Yoshubowali, who died during the Boko Haram peacekeeping operation in Yobe State two years ago. She says, since the death of her husband, life has not been easy. My husband is a loving and caring and a gallant soldier. Truly, they have sent messages to us that they will start calling us by the 17th of this month. So I want them to please make it, they should fulfill their promise. And another thing is uh, insurance. They have not paid. So we want them to please make it snappy. We don't have anybody helping us. We don't have. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day is observed on January 15th to commemorate the fallen servicemen of the Nigerian Armed Forces. It also honors veterans of the World War I and II, as well as the Nigerian Civil War. Adedoja Salam Adeni, TVC News, Lagos.